Hello, welcome to Penguin's Wanderlust. Here we are enjoying a gloomy day on Salt Spring Island. Uh, we came over yesterday on the little ferry from Schwartz Bay, Victoria. And uh, this morning we have been checking out the Salt Spring Farmer Market. Uh, I think it's in Ganges. But anyway, it's a uh, pretty interesting market. So far I have bought kale chips, one bag, which apparently took eight bags of fresh kale to uh, dry and make the kale chips. And I also uh, have a version that is ground up and mixed in with toasted sesame seeds, which is for sprinkling on your uh, salads and stuff and tastes a little bit buttery. So it's a good butter substitution. And uh, what else did I buy? I bought, oh, some apple fritters that were homemade from the person selling apples and apple trees. So you can grow your own apples. And uh, my friends are wandering around. There's 10 of us that stayed overnight at Allison House. Beautiful view from there. And there's two more friends that came over on the ferry just for today to hang out with us. So it's going to be a great weekend. Bye. Here's some people in the park next to the uh, Salt, Salt Spring Market that are doing uh, how is Tai Chi? Kind of interesting. It's very smooth. I've never tried that. There's a couple of guys playing hacky sack. I haven't seen hacky sack played in a long, long time, but it's kind of an interesting game. I did some video a long time ago in St. John, New Brunswick with a group of people playing a hacky sack and I always thought it would make a great painting to uh, do something along that. Who knows, maybe I'll do it from this video because it's more accessible than on the old tape. We have the, uh, the harbor with lots of fishing boats in it. Uh, we did actually talk to somebody by the ramp because we were hoping to have crab for dinner and uh, apparently a blue boat over there used to be where the crab lady years ago used to uh, have her uh, crabs that she sold out of the boat. We met the fishermen who had uh, done a lot of fishing for the person that bought her boat and uh, but he says the new person doesn't really go out and the guys truck's not here, so I guess we're not having fresh crab today for our dinner. Uh, we brought lots of food. We ate a big potluck yesterday and we'll probably do the same today. There's a nice little boardwalk along here. There's the park with the playground for the kids. Uh, there was a uh, hippie girl over there carrying a sign because today is Earth Day and there is the uh, Saturday morning farmers market so we were lucky to come today I think it just just may be the opening of the season it's the end of April and this tree here next to the little rowboat it's an arbutus tree and arbutus are protected in uh, Victoria and maybe British Columbia uh, they drop their bark, and their bark is reddish color. Uh, you can see it right there. Um, anyway, they're quite protected. Quite a lovely tree, nice formation. Here's a close-up of the arbutus bark. You can see how it's fallen off. And you can see the red. I believe this yellow plant is Scottish broom which was imported over here um, by people who like the bright yellow and unfortunately it uh, takes over but I'm not completely sure if this is broom or just another yellow plant that's maybe not quite so invasive 
And there's the view of the harbor again. This is a maple tree. You can just see that the uh, maple leaves are starting to emerge. And uh, we learned something in the car ride uh, yesterday from Aisha. She learned it from an 80-year-old lady I think lives on one of the small Gulf Islands because um, she was asked years ago to go and gather maple flowers and Aisha said well I don't know what a maple flower is and the lady looked aghast at her as if not believing that she couldn't know that thing at like age 30. However Erica and I who are a lot older than that had never heard of them. But right here, you see, those are, that's what they were talking about. Those are the, uh, the things dangling. Those are the flowers. And what this 80-year-old lady did with them uh, after they were gathered was she mixed them up with flour and uh, deep fried them and made them into um, fritters. So there you go maple flower fritters. I bet you didn't know about that. And now Aisha says every time she sees them in the spring, she gets hungry because they were delicious. But she doesn't really remember. She thinks she remembers they tasted kind of like maple syrup, but she says they may have actually been served with uh, maple syrup. So we're not sure until somebody tries them again. Cherry Blossom Festival. <laughs> Wickland Instruments and he's been, he's made all of these instruments. He's going to play us a little tune. Can you tell us about this instrument? This is a American black walnut banjo uh, with uh, Bill Ricard Dobson tone ring and uh, Coco Bolo fretboard and a little bit of fiddleback koa. Oh, nice. Go to tuners. It's my basic banjo. Cool. Thank you very much. I tried it's with a canelli de Bordeaux, yeah, but I can't show it to you because I already ate it. It's delicious and sweet. Hey, you want to try a kale chip? It's a basil pesto kale chip. It's made with fresh basil, lemon and garlic, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, spinach, olive oil and sea salt. Dehydrated for 24 hours and now it's preserved for two and a half months. And delicious. Then I do grind up that kale chip and add it to toasted sesame, making it a nice little sprinkle for your your salad, soup, pasta, rice, veggies. Also very delicious. Yeah. I've popcorn. already bought those. <laughs> and what's your name? I'm Claire. Claire. Thank you so much, Claire. From High Vibe Foods. Thank you. We just left uh, Barb's. Uh, where we had, I had a steamed milk that was really good. Now we go over the little bridge and we're going to go check out the Japanese cherry blossom uh, festival, which is over here through these nice little wooded paths. You know, this is, there's a Japanese maple in the little area where they're going to have Japanese food and entertainment. So, yeah, these are the Japanese maple over here. And I can say definitively the Japanese maple is not deer resistant because I used to have one in my back 
yard, but uh, the deer ate them. Uh, here we go. Barb's Buns, and it's a really busy restaurant. The lady Toastmasters, called Toastettes, have come out to Salt Spring Island, Allison House, to spend uh, three nights and like four days exploring Salt Spring Island. And uh, we have like the most incredible view from our uh, kitchen it could possibly be. I would really recommend uh, Allison House. It's a steep hill to go uh, up and down, but it's by car, so it's okay. And we went two houses up, and we got to try hot yoga today, so that was pretty grand. Yeah. Here's a couple of running gorgeous. ducks, but gorgeous. they're not running. They they're chatting. They're chatting. They're really at the good. vineyard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another picture. <laughs> Shit, we should be charging. That's what Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Well, look at even the color of the beach. Yeah. Are they pretty? Yeah. yeah, you guys are very, very Thank you for posing. Yeah. Yeah, wildlife of Salt Spring Island at the vineyard. The rhubarb looks like it's ready to harvest to make rhubarb crumble. Can you see Penny and Penguin? Here we have the Gary Oak Winery and these are their uh, grape vines here. It's a little overcast. You can see clouds around the top. We just came from the Salt Spring Winery but now we're gonna go check out this one. And me. Oh, oh you're doing it too, Carol? Yeah, I'm doing it too. Okay, that's great. That's so this one's a which one? Pinot, Pinot, Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. So this wine we say has the most attitude out of all wines, but it's a little bit more acidic than the other it's like three me. wines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more attitude. Thank you. More <laughs> <laughs> I took exception to that I comment. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I guessed, of course. Okay. So here we are. Oh, okay. Oh, is it? Oh. It's very clean. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's a very nice. That's a very nice one. Yeah, that's a very nice one. Ciao, Bella. That's the first one? Yeah, the yeah. 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 And I understand yes. everything you're saying. See? Long, glorious afternoons. Do we have others? <laughs> <laughs> there are some of the barrels yes. of wine. And, and on the way to we have different yes. types. Yes. Yeah, it's on our, our yeah, so Here we have a little salt spring cow. It's so cute. Hello. Okay. Hey there. Are you going to say hi? Me? Hmm? Are you going to say hi? How's it like to live on Salt Spring Island? Can you tell tell us? Hey? Do you like living here, little cow? Hey? Can I pet you? Without losing my hand? Hey? Oh yeah. You're all wet. Yeah, you're all wet. You're so cute. Here's another cow. This one's a black one. Hey little one. Hi. Whoa, I've got my pal here again. Hello, little guys. Yeah, you guys are cute. Yeah. 
You guys part of the cheese herd? I think we're here to look at the cheese. Anyway, you're just sleeping around in the wet as it rains. Eh? A beautiful location here. Really like Salt Spring Island. Okay, little guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Well, just beyond the two little cows, here's a sign that says, Ram in field. Stay out. He will charge you. Okay, but I'm not sure I see him. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I see him at all. Here's a place for putting your hay. There's our little cow family up there. But I don't see this sheep anywhere. No, I don't see him. Maybe he's inside. Here we have funny little hens. But I have no idea what they are. Here's some more of their pals. Lots of chickens up here. It's so green. You can't believe the wild chickens in uh, Hawaii. Oh, neat. On Oahu. Oh, cool. They're I've never been over. to Hawaii. They're walking all over the place. Oh, cool. They have a lovely place to walk around. So we've come to the Weston Creek Farm, home of Salt Spring Cheese. And we're just going to have a little look around here. Yeah, it says there's a walkway around the cheesery this way. Hmm. Usually like to go and check out the Tillamook uh, dairy in Oregon on the coast, but I haven't been to one closer to home. And here we have the little pens. And here we have the little animals. Oh, here we have the goats. Oh, for the goat cheese. Yeah. There they are. Way down there. There's another one over there. Kind of dark. Oh, look at him pushing him out of the way. <laughs> Neat. I'll just follow Erica. Oh, here's the uh, oh, windows where they do stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. The cheese making, where they make their cheeses. They make two different cheeses. Thousand pieces in total every day. This is cool. All their little packages. And they make chevre, which is like goat cheese. A three day process. Day one, the milk is pasteurized. Cool dairy culture and rennet are added left overnight for the acidity to develop. Day two, it turns to curd and it gets drained. And it's the cheese curd is similar to yogurt. And then it's turned the third day, it's finished and gets salted and packaged the next day. And here we go. Cool. And here's the thing about ripened cheese. And staircase. And some more about their place. My little goats are over there. Very pleasant little spot to go. Brining and spraying. And then Packaging. Cool. Oh, here's another window. Did we miss the window over here? This one here is the brining and sampling, well, brining and spraying window, but pretty wet in there. Okay, so here we have the packaging. There's a lady packaging, cleaning up, moving stuff. Cool. And here's some more little goats outside. More of the packaging room. Oh, yeah. Ruckle packaging. Ruckle is the name of a uh, park here where I've camped before. Oh, look at the little baby. He's so cute. Yeah. Got a little white sweater on. And his little brother probably over there. 
And there's ripening happens over here. And coloring ripened cheeses. I never knew about coloring. Yep. Oh. Go in and take a look. Well, the guys thought this was a frog, but it's not a frog. Not a frog I'm statue. Sorry, that was so wrong. <laughs> I just love here's that. We just had dinner. Now we're heading back. That looks like 